Hello Stalkers, Vincent here, but you know that already. Still, glad to see you again. Today we are gonna do a little challenge run and see if we can beat Elden Ring with only using bows. That means I'm only using light, long and great bows. Any other weapon including ballistas and crossbows are unacceptable. The reason for this, I don't even know myself. Everyone in the World Wide Web did the run without crossbows, so I thought there must be a reason, right? With that said, who actually cares? That's all the information we need. So I was ready and went straight into the character selection and chose the bandit. Because I like stealing women's hearts. But jokes on me, I'm really bad at that. So I went with the samurai instead, because... Look at him. I mean, they have two kind of arrows, so that must be good for something. At least a thought. So I went on and assigned my dear Katniss and entered the world. Once again, I ran until I found and stole this girl's heart and her pet. Then, with the goodest boy in town on my side, I was ready for the first objective. Get a few must-have items before even thinking about fighting Margaret. For my first bow, I sprinted to Mistwood, took an elevator down, then another one up till I reached some kind of river and got the horny bow. After that I got myself the strength and dexterity tier for the magic flask. And for my first talisman, I immediately went to South Caled where I found a sick rune farm right next to my already waiting talisman. So I stood there on the stone, got myself a coffee and watched an epic battle for about I don't even know how many minutes, but I watched it. And after that extraordinary gameplay I went up the tower, got the sting talisman, died and lost all my runes, tried to get back up, died again and I just didn't care anymore. I went back to Limgriff, got the reach talisman and advanced further to smack Alexander's ass. And after 10 spanks I realized I made a mistake. You should never do something like that without asking for consent beforehand. So we talked and he agreed, I repeated the process and immediately ran away, got high up and smoked the pot in a matter of seconds and picked up the warrior shard. So after that I only needed three more things. First, getting some cookbooks for crafting poison, fire bone and blood arrows. Then, second off, killing my first boss in the cheesiest way possible. I went to the Warmaster dude and he looked kinda tired, so I skipped the night time, he went to bed and a bell bearing hunter appeared. I ran up the hill right next to him and had a fantastic first boss battle. I mean, every boss battle where I don't need skill is a good one. So. With him gone, I got the bell bearing that is needed to be able to buy some thin beast bones, which are essential for crafting arrows. I mean, I could have also killed some innocent deers for bones, but if you're honest, that's something I only do for joy, so getting a reward on top of it seems a little much. And otherwise, look at that lady, seemed a little emaciated. So let's see it as an investment in society's health. So with that I was almost fully prepared. I only needed the golden wow Eshafor for some extra damage and then I was fully prepared and went to market. There I immediately realized that the bow is complete shit. The damage was horrendous but I accepted it and died a few times. The main reason wasn't even the damage but my timings. At that point they were pretty bad and most of the time I found myself stuck in the animation of shooting while getting hit. I mean it was pretty predictable because that was the first time I ever used a bow in a Souls game. So my skill in this direction was not the best. But after a few tries I realized I was just next level stupid. No wonder I didn't do any damage. I didn't use the ability which makes the bow great. The mighty shot. And I don't even know because I already used it against the bell bearing boss. So that was just my kind of skill I have in this game. So forgetting everything and doing the worst possibility. So take it to whatever you want with it. With my slowly increased bow skills, the damage exponentially increased. I managed to make some use of the poison and Margit's health bar slowly chipped away. I then switched to the fire arrows and made some sick trick shots. And that was basically the Margit fight. I probably died a few too many times, but I finally managed it. 
And after Margit, it was time to advance the Stormwell Castle. And as I didn't want to develop some psychological disorder, I avoided the main gate and went the easy outside route till I reached those stupid ass birds. I killed two of them for no reason and sprinted through the area till I reached Godric. Prepared, I went in with the expectation of suffering. But little did I know that I would not be the one who suffers. This here, guys, was the easiest fight of my life. I just poisoned him. And the sweet part is that he cannot attack you from a distance. The only attack which can reach you are those windy swirls he does from time to time. But they are incredibly easy to dodge through. So that was it. That was the fight. I spammed my arrows from a distance and did it on my first try. And Godric was no more trick. So I received my first great rune and I knew what I wanted next. Not having to spend 10,000 hours farming stuff for my arrows, because I ain't have time for that. So I went to this dude in front of a church. He is the one who tells you at the start of the game that you don't have a girlfriend. So, just for interest. Once there, he sent me to the Atlas Plateau, where I had to invade and die three times to some random NPC. It would have also worked if I just killed him, but you need skill for that. So I went with the first option. So I did that and went back to the man in white. And he, once again, just used me. He gave me the quest to travel to Mordor, dip a beautiful white cloth in some random woman on top of the highest mountain ever, where Sauron's brother is watching every move you make. So once I was done, I received an item which let me enter Mokwim Palace. There I used the all too well known bird farm. One arrow shot, cheese. 12k runes and repeat. So that was my new rune farm for crafting and buying arrows for the rest of the game. But I have to say here, not to cheese the entire run, I implemented a little rule for myself and that rule is that I'm not allowed to use those runes for level ups because otherwise I would be just level I don't know what and the run would be probably pretty easy. But after that and well equipped, I made my way to the Red Main Castle, where I wanted to battle Radan. Because, you know, he got a really sick bow. So I went in there and immediately died, and I thought, nah, I ain't got time and the mental capacity for this fight right now. So I researched a little and found a ridiculous cheese. All I needed to do was to get close to him, bait a few attacks till he started running after me. Then I parkoured my way up this random hill and tried to land on this piece of wood and went all the way to the edge. From there he just ran against the wall below me and I could just poison him. So I did exactly that. I shot my arrows and poisoned him, then I went a few steps back and entered a safe zone. Why the safe zone, you ask? Good question. Because sometimes he does some kind of gravity attack which can pull me out of this area and I land on the bottom right next to him and I'm just gonna die. So I remained on a safe zone and waited till the poison was gone. And then I slowly went back to the edge and let me tell you, that was the scariest part. Because you basically have to almost walk over the edge to be able to lock onto him. So there was also a little bit of skill involved in this kind of cheese, let me tell you. But that was basically it. I did this on repeat for exactly 20 minutes and the fight was done. I still died like 15 times because I suck and I couldn't get up this hill, but you know, it was still an easy fight because the cheese was just nice. So with my new bow I was ready to advance further. I thought let's go to the academy and fight that little dog and the moon girl to advance further. But then I realized I don't have to do that since Radan provided me with my second great rune I needed to enter the city so I could completely skip this area. And so I did because I just want to beat this game and not kill every little boss. So my next objective was to enter the city. But you know, before you enter the city there's always some kind of dude which waits and tries to smack your ass. So I sneaked up to the side and made some amazing, amazing shots. So yeah, you can you can see what my skill level is in, in that game. Amazing, right? So I cannot even hit a non-moving target. I love it. So yeah, all those shots, that sums up my entire fight against him. I cannot even hit a non-moving target. 
Amazing, right? But other than that and the 30 plus deaths ahead, the fight was actually not that hard. Basically, all you need to do is get that fire fetishist behind a rock here, shoot some arrows until he either wants to smack you or does some lightning attacks. But then just run behind another rock and repeat. And that's basically it. You just spam your text till he has no life left. And with another tree chopped down, I was ready to enter the city. There I picked up the black bow, which I saved myself for a little later, since you know, I got another bow just a few minutes ago, so I at least want to test that thing out for a little while. So I did exactly that, as I encountered Godfrey, the coolest dude ever. And honestly, that fight wasn't meant to be for ranged attacks. If you just keep your distance, it really is like one of the easiest fights, since he just doesn't give a single shit. He just walks up to you like nothing is going on. He kinda reminds me of the monsters from the series From, if you ever watched it. They basically do the exact same thing. Just walk up to you without making a single fast move, and if you let them get close, they suddenly escalate and you are just done. That's it. I just stayed back and slowly finished him off, arrow for arrow, and that was the whole fight. Pretty easy. But after that, it was time to utilize my new bow. So I took it and went to the blacksmith and let him smack the shit out of it. And that went to Morgoth after. Once outside of Morgoth's arena, I realized I had another talisman spot to fill, so I made a quick scop in some random cave, killed a golem and picked up the blue dancer talisman, which increases my damage when being more naked. With it, I entered the fight and I thought, wow, the bow, the barrage skill is exactly the shit I needed. I just spent my arrows and immediately got off poison. From there, the fight was kinda easy, but also not, I would say. I just kept my distance, as I always did if it was possible in those fights, and I either spent my barrage, blood arrows, or I made some jump shots and rather quickly got off the blood loss and entered phase 2. And there, the strategy remained basically the same. Keep the distance, spam arrows, and there. Get fast, blood loss, and there wasn't much left to do. I made some jump attacks, which I at this point of the game realized were the best attacks you could do, because they are fast, hit more often than others, at least I think, and they look fucking amazing. So with those things, there is nothing more to say about this fight, because it just was easy. After that, there was nothing worth it to mention, other than that my nipples got hard as I entered this coldest area with the most beautiful ginger ever inside. So I sprinted towards him and immediately noticed his beautiful feet. I stayed close to them and kept my strategy of spamming poison arrows. After that, I just followed him and remained between his legs, as this was the easiest way for me to deal with phase 1. And I must say, I basically got to phase 2 almost right away. I mean, it wasn't exactly the biggest surprise to me because I did a rune level 1 run not long ago and I died in this phase like over 50 times. So at this point, I could just predict this phase pretty well. But phase 2, fuck me. I thought I've learned it already, but with arrows, no damage and the skill you need that took quite some time. I mean I had a standard strategy of running between his legs and behind him. There just spam barrage to inflict poison and then remain behind him or rather just run around him to slowly shoot arrow after arrow to get his health bar slowly down. But then there were like two options, either I got rolled over or I was unable to dodge his storm, fire, attack, whatever this shit is. The rest was actually fine, but those two attacks, man, they demolished me so many times. So I changed it up a little. The first part remained the same, run between his legs and spam arrows from behind. But you know, at some point I thought it was just a stupid joke, because he suddenly began to shoot his fire stones all around him, which he never did in the attempts earlier, so I couldn't spam a barrage right away and couldn't poison him as fast. So the first poison dose now took a little longer. But whatever, my new strategy was to be as big of a coward as possible. I ran all the way to the other side, waited till my arrows were in reach, spammed the poison arrows and hit myself, and when the crazy red main came close, I sprinted to the other side of the area and repeated the process. 
And honestly, that worked quite well and I managed to get him down. So with the big boy down, my girlfriend once again burned the big old tree and sent me to a new area. And in this new area, I went my way to receive double trouble with the encountering of Laurel and Hardy. A fight so unnecessary, many cannot even describe. But with Eros, it was so incredibly easy, I for the first time in this entire run really was perplexed. I basically did the same thing as always. Spammed poison arrows at the fatty and when inflicted I changed to the blood ones and just ran around the pillars, made some jump attacks and repeated the process. And at that point where he does his insane rage roll attack, which normally is a moment of pure panic, here it was a blessing. Because he was just stuck behind the pillar and I could just spam barrage, inflict blood loss and finish him off. So that was an easy kill. So then I battled the Finn one, but jokes on me, the humanoid enemies in a bow only run are your freaking worst enemy. Because that dude matrixed his way through every single arrow shot. I mean at some point when he charges up his attacks I could hit him a little, but rather soon the fat one was back and I just changed back to him as he was pretty easy. But then once again, look at that. basically is just trolling me. I mean, I swear, he just walks sideways and I miss every single arrow. But you know, who, who cares? At some point, he charged up his attack long enough for me to get off this beautiful blood loss and I was able to finish him off and the rest was a cakewalk because, you know, the fat one is just an easy target because he can't dodge your arrows. Then with the duo down, it was time to fight the biggest nerd in the whole game. Malikov. I mean of course before that we have to get to phase 2 and finish off the beast first, but no matter with what distant attacks you fight him, he is incredibly easy. Because all you need to do is just dodge a few of his attacks and then you have enough time to just spam your attacks or get just one or two arrows in. So I poisoned him and then changed the blood arrows and just did the jump attacks between and after each of his attacks and that was it. And most of the time the bloodless was perfectly timed with triggering phase 2. But oh boy, phase 2 is one of the few times in my Elden Ring career where I had to actually learn something. Since my damage was a joke, I just had to dodge, but I couldn't. As always I tried to poison him, but I only managed that like once out of 15 attempts and I immediately died afterwards. So you know, there was no chance for me to have a lucky attempt or something else. So to shorten it, I just learned and once I managed to not suck that hard anymore, I managed to dodge most of it and I can honestly say here for the first time in this playthrough, I really deserved this kill. <laughs> but then once again, Gideon, or better said Keanu Reeves as he once again dodges all my arrows like he's some kind of god or something. But at least he was just a god of stupidity because he couldn't comprehend the basic principle of objects. So for this fight, who would have thought I poisoned him right away and then I made myself comfortable behind this railing and switched to the big boy. From there on, I just spammed the arrow rain ability and Gideon was no more idiot. Good one. I know, thank you, next one. After that, it was time to revisit that cool dude from earlier. The difference is that it seemed that his profession as a pimp has been hung up on the nail. I no more saw bling, but lots of rage. So that fight was not a cakewalk as before. I mean the first part was, I just had to run away, spam my poison arrows and or blood fire arrows and his health bug pretty quickly faded away. But at some point his rage kinda took over and he suddenly became some kind of fucking air earth bender where he did like an escalating amount of ground storms. So there was no freaking way of using the barrage skill anymore. But to my pleasure, I already died too many times in my rune level 1 run here. So that part of the battle was actually pretty sick and epic and filled with just jump shots. But then once again if the rage takes over there is always some kind of inner ray mysterio which comes to display and slams the absolute shit out of me. So the plan was simple but hard to execute. Just run away, wait for either his big roar attack or the big jump where he then plays the lover's floor with you and in those moments just spam the barrage and hopefully poison him. 
So I did exactly that. But other than that, I just tried to survive and get some occasional hits in. Honestly, when I see my attempts here right now, there were lots of moments for some additional shots and so much more damage. But honestly, this dude just makes me wanna cry. Because his, his sudden slow and delayed attacks and then some sudden punches in my hope filled face made me tuck in my tail. So I just ran and hoped for the best. And hey, man, it kinda worked. At some point, it always works. And after that, I took a break to mentally prepare myself for my real worst enemy. Not Elden Beast, not the big old boy, but Radagon. And if you don't know, I literally died to him in my level 1 run over at least 200 times. So that PTSD still sits deep within me. But I thought, how horrible can it be this time? I at least got like 5 times the amount of HP than last time. And I learned his attack pattern, right? Uh, no, not right. Because once again, I got completely wrecked. It was immediately time to just ditch my damaged talismans and put on some clothes as it seemed my godlike body didn't help me here either. I got Radan's armor and boots from the round horn table and the dragon crest shield and harlic drake talisman plus two. Their purpose was to reduce the amount of physical and holy damage I receive. But you know, not the emotional damage I got from witnessing the lack of skill I still have in this game. So this fight was as expected torture. I always started with spamming poison arrows, dodge once or twice and got him poisoned. Then I switched to one of the following three. Fire, blood or rot arrows. And there I made my biggest mistake right away. I tried to poison and then to rot him. I mean, actually that was the best working strategy. But the problem was, at one point I didn't have any rot arrows anymore and they are not as easy to farm as the rest. So I had to change back to the fire arrows and just poisoned him twice. And let me tell you, that took so long. Too long. Too long for my tiny little heart. So <clears throat> I didn't count the amount of deaths, the time needed to refarm and get more arrows, but it was my personal hell. But at one point, and honestly, way too fucking late for the total amount of fights I had against this damn ass, I managed to get to phase 2. And there, for the first time, I looked into the mirror and spotted one of the manliest tears I've ever heard. And only one. But probably because I just sweated out all of my body fluids in my previous attempts because it was just so stressful. But damn it. I don't care about seeing this dumb fight anymore, so from time to time I occasionally managed to reach Elden Beast. And Elden Beast was honestly not hard. The thick bow did some insane damage. The only problem was that I entered the first few attempts with way too less potions. And my dodges weren't on point at this time. I needed some practice. So after a lot of suffering and I don't know how many new attempts, I managed to get to Elden Beast from time to time. And with a distant build, the Elden Beast really is incredibly easy, since every attack is 10 times easier to dodge from a distance than close up. I mean, of course I fucked it up from time to time, but that's nothing new. But other than that, I still mixed it up with some close up and distance attacks, because the Arrow of Rain only worked if I was close to the enemy, and it just did some insane damage and made the fight a little bit faster. And every faster fight is better for your mental health. So. With that, I basically did it. Most of the attacks from a distance, some closer arrow rains, for that extra damage and a few dodges here and there. But honestly, there isn't much more to say about this fight. I mean, maybe just one thing. For the first time, I didn't care about the Elden Star's attack, since with the Holy Talisman and my health, the damage I received seemed like a joke and I could just dodge my way through and if I get hit once or twice from this following stars, it didn't matter. So with that said, that was it. I really made the most obvious thing of beating Elden Ring with only using bows. Honestly, as my other challenge run, this comes basically over a year too late and probably like a thousand other people already did this challenge, so it really isn't anything special anymore, but who actually cares? It sparked some joy in me doing some challenge runs, it is fun and I just had a good time while doing this. 
And for the ones that actually saw this video and I dare to say stayed till the bitter end, thank you so much for watching and I hope to have you around in the future. And of course tell me if you want some other way too late runs to see or if you just have some interesting ideas since I also want to maybe do a little bit more runs because I really have fun with those and with the DLC on the horizon there is much more to come you know and I will play the DLC so I will prepare myself. But other than that again thanks and bye.